Hey, good morning, everybody. It's like, what, 8.15? Uh, today is December 1st, 2023. Yeah, uh, just my everyday makeup is on right now because as soon as I finish this, I have a lot of stuff I've got to get done today, and I don't want to take the time to put on the video war paint, then take it off to go back outside. So... Hey, what you see is what you get today. <laughs> yeah, I'm a psychic, clairvoyant, clairaudient. Everything is for entertainment purposes only. Uh, remember, go do your own research. Full disclaimers down in the box, along with the uh, buy me a coffee thing. Uh, people, please check because I know that platforms are doing goofy things with numbers. So make sure that you're still subscribed, like click the little red boots, make sure you get the bell clicked so it's a solid, solid filled in. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, we've all seen the dumpster fire that's been going on. So I'm going to get to that last. Okay, let's get through the other stuff in the world first. Um, yeah, Israel. And it's still the three-for-one trade-off happening. Uh, if Israel is smart, they're going to hold on to the most valuable people, tradables, until the very end. People are giving Israel crap because, oh, you're targeting hospitals. I go, listen, Hamas uses hospitals, schools, as their cover for their operations. These guys think, are trained and taught that if you are a martyr for the cause, you automatically go to paradise. Okay? So, um, they don't think twice about using human Kevlar. So stop whining and these little pro-Palestinian idiots need to be re-educated. And uh, a lot of this nonsense, okay, people aren't going to like this. I, it's not a, actually, it's, Hamas was a political organization created by the American Democratic Party and the globalists. So, uh, Every Democrat who's been voting blue, no matter who, they're part of partially responsible, especially the uh, liberal reform conservative Jewish movement. They all vote blue, no matter who. Stop whining. You're not in a boxcar because you help your complacency. Kick the shit off. Okay? Yeah. And your complacency also with this globalist crap. So many people destroyed their own immune systems by following government orders. Dudes, what happened 90 years ago when people followed government orders? You landed your asses in a boxcar on the way to a Zyklon B shower. I guess your never forget stuff is a piece of crap. And you're a bunch of organized hypocrites. Yeah, right now they're trying to push this um, 19C crap again, RSV. And now we've got the China pneumonia. Folks, don't wear a mask. Wash your hands. That's all you got to do. I mean, even right now, it's like they had... It's making its way around social media about JoJo's speech in Colorado. I mean, you can see the guy is gone. He's got nothing left. He's a mahre moch. Okay? Basically, when he does, when they do have somebody out there intelligently speaking, it's Barry's mouthpiece via a Jojo lookalike. And Barry will continue to rag on the Israeli leaders. And Barry and Jojo will continue. They're the Democrats. They are going to continue to support the I-cults. 
And what's ironic is that the Red Cross isn't being allowed to go into Gaza to get another propaganda film like they did at Trishinstadt. That didn't start. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we've got going on. Now, even in the UK, here in the States, we've got cities, towns, townships, HOAs. Well, in the UK, they've got these organizations called councils, which is basically like a, an American township or city board. <laughs> And some uh, council areas of the UK, they're now banning any outward signs of Hanukkah. 90 years is repeating itself. 90, 100 years ago. What was going on in Germany in 1923, 24? Didn't anybody watch Downton Abbey? Yeah. Edith Michael Gregson was conveniently wiped off the map via <clears throat> Adolf's goons. We've got the same shit going on now, but these guys are jihadists. Just switch the name. They're interchangeable. Now, I caught, um, yeah, the, uh, our favorite Swede this morning, and it is now being talked about that the people who were some, in an area of New Zealand, that during the global attempt at world domination, there was one medical clinic, uh, the records have been released stating that one in four people that went in and followed government mandates, government orders to have an unknown liquid put into their body. One in four have crossed the Rainbow Bridge. And about 50% of those from that clinic are now living with a chronic terminal condition. It's kind of bad because I do know of at least almost a dozen people that I know that willingly went and followed the modern day Mengele advice. Some friends of mine, yeah. Her husband has had a couple heart attacks. They're constantly getting sick with the C-19. Uh, one friend, unfortunately, has now been diagnosed with heart issues and cirrhosis of the liver. She was forced into getting it to keep her job. Yeah. With this next China, China pneumonia coming around, um, I am getting the hunch that those who have had the liquid dump pushed into their bodies... I hope they have their, um, prepay for your funeral. They'll be the next ones to go. There's those of us who are fighting back. And it's ironic that somebody who, they call him a rat. But now he's one of the most intelligent guys out on the internet. Um, Sammy the Bull Gravano. He was formally affiliated with one of the five families in NYC. Uh, for those of you who don't what I don't understand what I mean when I say the five families, I think you better go watch, go back and watch uh, that series of movies that had like uh, Marlon Brando, Al Pacino. <laughs> Um, I think De Niro was in it, so you, you got to watch those things. It's like Talia Shire played Marlon Brando's daughter. They started out with a big wedding scene. So go back and watch that. Um, 
and uh, yeah, back when the families were running the city, NYC, it was a safe place to be. But the think back, I I mean, people need to look at the dates. The crackdowns on the families that were keeping New York in order and Chicago in order all were um, basically decimated by the Democrats. And the Democrats were then basically used the families to get into office and then they flipped on the families. Well, let's put it this way. Um, the one, those of us that have had to have interaction with the families and kind of sort of have um, kind of like discreet threads, tentacles into those families, like Sammy Gravano, and I know I speak my mind, we're not afraid to stand up against anybody. We're not, we're not afraid to stand up against these bullies, the government. Yeah. One family tried to do something bad to me, but I kind of made a joke about something. And then all of a sudden they backed off. Yeah, my grandfather made sure I was baptized Catholic with the right set of godparents. Yeah. Italian godparents. Saved my butt. Big time, but yeah. We've got, everybody needs to start standing up and fighting, calling these poop heads out. Because take a good look at what happened in Dublin, Ireland. That's going to start happening here in the States. It's going to spread into the big isle of the UK, of England, Wales, and Scotland. People are going to start revolting big time, especially because that BBC dude, I'm upset because there are too many white people. Well, duh. You went to an island where uh, that's where the term wasp came from? White Anglo-Saxon Protestant? Yeah. That's why people who find me on you on Elon's platform laugh because my description, I'm like, is basically J-A-P backslash W-A-S-P. That stands for Jewish American Princess backslash White Anglo-Saxon Protestant. I'm half-half. I can move between both worlds. And I know how to. Unfortunately, I'll get to, the, get to her in a minute. Yeah, people start standing up, start calling out the crap. And like I've said before, if you can't get a pow-pow, uh, visit some of the, uh, what is it, Ted's website to learn how he goes out hunting. And they've got little handheld versions of what he uses. You don't need a license to buy those. You do need a license if you're going to go out and get some uh, game meat. But you need to start practicing so you don't, so you can hunt responsibly. Okay. And basically, yeah, people are going to have to stand up. Take, follow the lead of what happened in Dublin. An idiot went after children, so the mob mentality rose up. And basically went after the jihadist. And everybody's in an uproar. Well, if the Democrats keep this crap up... <coughs> Uh, I don't think we're going to have to wait till 2061 to have a repeat. The world is on fire now. Go to your local PBS station, start watching that program. 
Start paying attention, folks. Now for the gruesome twosome. <laughs> okay. It's now claiming it's bait and switch all over the place saying, listen carefully to the scabies. He goes, I was only involved with the English language editing manuscript. So basically, there were two manuscripts. One for the English language market, one for the international market, the foreign languages. Royal Griff did a really good breakdown on that. And I do know people who are published, published authors and yes, um, I spoke to one of the gals last night. She says she has two agents, one for the English language market, one for the international language market. Um, yeah, my friend, she, write, she writes these racy um, romance novels <laughs> that are so close to the line that they don't have to be sold at a specialty store. They can be sold like at the normal bookstore, but they're still kind of racy. And you uh, can get them on like Amazon and stuff. And uh, if you email me, I'll send you who her name is so you can order one of her books. But with all this stuff going on, it's kind of now put Henry in a very precarious position. I do know for a fact that the Euro Royals have been in contact with the palace with sympathy and advice. And we can even see it with, um, yeah, we, you could say they are kind of like the new Fab Four. Last night, Catherine, William and Kath went with um, Victoria and, what is it, her hubby Daniel to the annual Royal Variety charity performance. I mean, Kath, look, Kath looked great in that teal blue dress with the diamante collar and victoria looked stunning with that in that black creation i don't know if it was fur but it looked like a feathered like shrug around her shoulders i mean boom that was stunning on her so the gals really know how to walk a red carpet and it's ironic because will and victoria are in the same place, same position. Victoria is a crown princess. William is Prince of Wales. So they're both, when their dads pop off, will be, she'll be Queen of Sweden, he'll be King of England. England, Scotland, Ireland, Wales, Northern Ireland and Wales and the Commonwealth. So it was a great thing to see the four of them together, kind of like out with big smiles on their faces, the gals look great. The guys looked very debonair in their tuxedos. Basically, they were giving the big thumbs up to the gruesome twosome. And an, I think it was a strategically scheduled visit between the heir apparents. It's not an official, it's a, an official visit, but not a state visit. This was scheduled because they knew the release date of the Scabies book. So immediately they grabbed they, Victoria and her husband stepped up for the for the Euro Royals, took took one for the team to come and stand by William and Kath. That's really a great thing. But the other nonsense I've been hearing and I got this yesterday morning. My phone was ringing like at about 3, 3.30, 4 o'clock. I'm like, oh, who's calling me? And um, it was somebody from uh, a European country. 
And he's like, hey, you seen all this shit? I go, yeah, but, yeah, we know that the Dutch version has the names listed. What about the Deutsch versions? And he said, yeah, they snagged one. The Deutsch, and the Deutsch, Italian, and French versions all had the names in there. And I'm like, so what's going on? He goes, well, let's put it this way. Everybody's given the suggestion to uh, the palace that um, Henry has two choices. Either he abdicates all titles or he spill he divorces Rachel and spills the beans and is apologetic and goes goes and retires to a house up in Balmoral. Two choices. Abdicate or tell all and divorce. That's what I was told. He wanted to be like his uh, great uncle David. So he better sign his own abdication papers. Now we do know that KC3 is currently in Dubai for the COP28 thing. And uh, it's all climate change sh shit. And I'm like, where's Greta Thunberg? Or has she been arrested again for the n no oil crap? But I did see the speech. All it is is KC3 tossing out a bunch of word salad about global warning, clean energy, lifestyles are causing the bad weather, and the fires are causing greenhorn, greenhouse gases. My guess, the fires are, were arson. So basically, it was all, all Charles did was a big, a sa the speech was word salad. It was tossed around the same shit he's been saying for years. So nothing new. But it's held in Dubai, which is part of the United Arab Emirates, which is Qatar is included. Qatar is the laundry and is playing the middleman between the world and Hamas. So I think on the QT, I'm getting the feeling that Charles is having private discussions in order to make sure that all the people who have dual citizenship with Commonwealth countries are released with priority. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Charles is uh, doing some side negotiations. Soft, soft power. He got, he'll probably say, oh, yeah, we'll let X amount of dinghy divers out as long as you release so many uh, <clears throat> Commonwealth passport holders out. That's what he's doing. But the last thing I caught... Yeah, it has been announced. Rachel now has to show up in person to be deposed for the lawsuit that was where Samantha is the plaintiff. Now, I've also, like I've said, I, I've had a federal lawsuit. I am just like thinking it's going to be so sweet for Samantha to be able to watch her sister, her half-sister, squirm. While she's being deposed. It's going to, I wish I could be a fly on the wall. Because if she's caught in any falsehoods, if Rachel is caught uh, answering a question with a falsehood, she is then uh, in contempt of court. That's perjury. And that's really bad for her. So uh, she can't lie when she's being deposed. It's like being, you're literally sworn to tell the truth. So I wish I could be a fly on the wall when that happens. But I, I hope Samantha is able to sit there and watch it with a straight face. I'll, let's send her energy that she's healthy and is able to keep a straight face while she watches her 
little sister squirm. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's crazy. I found out my info from my intel from Europe. Yeah, the Euro Royals are actually very quietly supporting Casey three and Camilla. They're saying the kids got to abdicate or tell all and divorce. Those are his two options because he's not going to be welcome in any of those countries. And yeah, buku kudos to Victoria and her husband, Daniel for being there and supporting William and Catherine. So that's all for today. I got a shitload of shit. I got to get done Uh next video. Today is Friday video go up on Sunday. Depending on stuff that I'm doing, I may just throw it up first thing in the morning with no chat log. Okay, but there will be a video up on Sunday morning. Catch you later. Bye-bye.